Hi, and welcome to the Quick Start tutorial for Text Add Marker. Select your text and click Add. Right away, you will get a staggered text animation. You can adjust the delay over here. You can also set layer markers. Each word will appear at a marker. If there are more words than markers, the last marker triggers the remaining words. Let's say I want the words text and animation to appear at the same time, as well as layer and markers. I just double click the marker and enter the number of words I want to animate, in this case two. Now both pop in at once. I'll do the same for the last two words. If you shift click on add, you create a new instance of the effect with reversed keyframes. This gives you an out animation. Each marker will now trigger both the in and out animations. You can turn this off by opening the markers drop down menu and selecting ignore markers. Now the in animation follows the markers while the out animation plays based on your keyframes and delay. Let's add some more layer markers and uncheck ignore markers. You can tell the script to only react to markers that start with a certain letter, like I, O or H for in, out or highlight animations. Let's pick O and rename them so they all start with the letter O. You can type O or out or whatever you like. Let's shorten the animation so it's easier to see. Now the out animation is only triggered by markers that start with an O. By default, the animation moves left to right, but you can change it to reversed or random. Set a seed value to control the randomness. If you choose user defined, the script reads the layer name and uses the numbers you enter here to decide which words to animate and in what order. Let's type 1, 3, 5 and it will animate the first, third and fifth word. If you don't specify the rest, the remaining words will animate left to right. You can separate the numbers with spaces hyphens, or any other characters. Even add extra text. The script will still detect the numbers. If we want these three words to animate at the same time, we can double click on the marker and add the number three. Let's do the same here. And then we can delete the extra markers. Let's add some audio and line up the markers with the beat. If we listen to it, it's a little bit off because at the marker, the animation starts to play, but we want it to be finished by then. To fix this, we can go to our effect and use the time offset. Just enter minus five, and the animation will start 5 frames before the marker, finishing exactly at the beat. The animation itself is driven by keyframes. You can change the easing, add keyframes or expressions like overshoot and bounce, and the animation updates automatically. The way it works is that we have several properties here that we can adjust. The first keyframe applies 100% of these changes, which decrease to 0%, returning the text to its default state. For example, we can reset the position here, but increase the scale. This creates an animation like this. We also have settings for opacity, tracking, blur, character offset, rotation, and more. With the layer selected, we can quickly change the based on mode to characters or lines. 
We also have anchor point grouping, which we can easily adjust. By default, it's set to word, so each word scales individually. But we can change it to character, and then each character will scale. We can also set it to line, or all, if needed. You can add as many effect instances as you want. If you delete an effect directly, you'll get an expression error. Instead, use the Remove button to ensure all linked expressions and text animators are also removed. If we select a layer without selecting any effects, it will remove everything. And that wraps up the tutorial. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in another video.